So if you have clicked on this video, you know what to expect. I'm going to be trying out every lipstick I own. That's a lot. Oh my god, my lips are going to be dead after this video. But let's get started. So considering the situation around the world, we are stuck inside our house, which is for the good. I hope this time passes soon and everything goes back to normal. So, so while I was stuck at home, I was clearing out my makeup drawer. I saw that I have loads and loads of lipsticks. So there are a lot, lot of lipsticks which I don't use and I was clearing them out. So this idea came into my mind that I should do this with you guys. I will try those lipsticks sticks on and I will take help from you guys in figuring out which ones to keep which ones to throw away so yeah it's going to be a fun video so if you like such videos don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on Instagram I post my daily styling outfit inspiration ideas the direct link will be there in the description box you can go and check that out so it's going to be a long ass video without much talking let's get on let's get started so this try on lipstick haul will not be in any particular order i'll pick up uh, random lipsticks and i'll try that out so let's just start with what i'm wearing right now this is my absolute absolute favorite this is dior um, um dior edicts stellar shine in the shade pink meteor this is my go-to lipstick and it's such a beautiful color it just makes my lips so plum and so stunning and the shine on it is just so beautiful. This is my everyday go-to lipstick. Whenever I'm in doubt, this is the one I go for. Stunning, stunning shade. I sometimes use it as my blush and it has the most gorgeous shine. Please don't mind if I don't apply it properly because there are a lot of lipsticks. And it somehow hydrates my lips as well. So definitely not throwing this away. It is usually in one of my bags because I use it so often. So this is my highly used lipstick and I treasure it. I love it and I will be keeping it. Moving on to the second one. This is by Bird's Bees. It's called Matte Lip Crayon. Oh, that's what it says, Matte Lip Crayon. And this is my recent purchase. It's a matte lip. I usually don't go for matte lips because as it is, my lips are super dry and matte lipsticks make them even more dry. So I try to avoid this is not the drying kind of matte formula it's like a creamy matte doesn't dry out my lips i love this shade it's like a, a sort of berry lip I think it's one of the most stunning shades you can find. It's such an affordable price. It looks absolutely beautiful with a lip liner on, but I'm not going to be using lip liners today. So that's the shade. It's beautiful. I love it. I will be keeping it. This is the kind of shade which will suit all skin tones out there because it's such a gorgeous deep shade. It can vary according to your skin tone, according to uh, pigmentation on your lips. So this is how it looks on my skin tone and I love it. Keeping it. Let's just pick up with you guys. Okay, let's try this one out. This is by Yves Rocher. It's called Le Balm Liquid. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's in a French. Mm, I, I don't use this a lot. It's just lying in my makeup drawer. I don't use it a lot. So let's just try it out. Oh, now I know why I don't use it because it doesn't have any pigmentation. As if there's nothing on my lips. It's the kind of pink I don't like. I'm not a fan of this this kind of neon pink shade. Although it doesn't come out that way. As it comes out just tint. Not even a tint actually. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a lipstick topper. And uh, I don't like it. Although the formula is fine. It's not sticky at all. I like the formula. But uh, as you can see there is no pigmentation on it. And uh, I don't use it. So what do you guys think? I don't. Mm -mm -mm. No. Let's try out some MAC lipstick. I have Velvet Teddy with me and also Seashio. Uh, I know it's a cult favorite. A lot of you guys like this shade and swear by it. I like it too but uh, I think it's a little bit cool tone for me and uh, kind of washes me out if I don't have anything on my eyes. For a lot of you it's everyday nude and it suits a lot of people. I see why. This is how Velvet Teddy looks on me. Do you see? It kind of washes me out. So what I do is I just add a hint of seashore, like a warm toned nude on top of it to give that life back to my lips. 
And also I like to use Sea Sheer on its own because it's a better nude lipstick for me. And I will be keeping Velvet Teddy as well. Let's move on to some Nykaa, <laughs> Nykaa lipsticks. For those of you who are not from India and you are watching this video, Nykaa is an Indian brand and um, a lot of girls love their products. So do I. I have a few of their lipsticks. Let me just try it on for you. This one is Nefertiti 02. That's the shade. This is how it looks. I used to love this lipstick. Don't use it as much as I used to. This is how the shade looks on me. I used to love this shade back in the day, but I don't like it on myself anymore. The formula is okay, it's good, but mm, uh, I don't. I think I have better shades with me. So yeah, I have stopped using it, but I know uh, it suits a lot of skin tones and uh, looks really nice. It, I think it's a good summer shade for me. Yeah, now I remember I used to use it a lot during summer, like last summer I used it a lot. And the formula is really nice. It's not drying at all, although it's a matte lipstick. It's a creamy matte. I don't think I will be using it again. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Let me know in the comment section below. 02 Nefertiti by Nykaa. And this is how the shade looks like. And this is how it looks on my lips. It looks so neon. <laughs> it's not that neon, guys. It's a coral. It's a pinkish coral tone. Another lipstick from Nykaa. This is their paint sticks. Is it, is it paint sticks? I'm not too sure. I, I will link it down in the description bar. And I still use it. I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. Again, it's that creamy matte formula. I love this better than the previous shade. I have applied this shade on and on top of it, I will be using this Fenty Gloss Bomb. That's what it's called, right? Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. This is, uh, this is love. I mean... I, I can't. I can't get over how stunning it looks and how stunning it makes your lips look so juicy and so plum and in the best way possible. It's just, it's just stunning. So I'm not going to get rid of these two for sure because I like them. Let me just zoom you guys in a little bit. This is hats of the best gloss I have tried in my life. It's worth the price. I, I think it's for $24, like $24 for a lip gloss. It's worth it, guys. I use it quite regularly. Whenever you guys ask what I have on my lips, like most of the time, it's this mixed with some other kind of lipstick. It just makes any lipstick look so lush. You have to try it. Even if you don't buy it, just try it on on your lips. You will feel the difference. Trust me on that. My lips are dead right now. Like... No kidding, they're seriously burning right now. Then I have this one, it's by Wet n Wild. It's called Cat Suit and that's the shade. It's like a purplish nude. I have this for so long. I should probably throw this away. I think it'll be dangerous for me to try it on because it's so old. I don't know why I still have it. Maybe there's, there's a mold growing inside. I, oh my God, I should throw this away. Now this one is the most cheapest of all lipstick I own. This is by Primark. I have it for a while. Let's see if it's dried out or not. This is how the shade looks like. I think it's a purplish mauve toned. At that moment, I thought it looked really nice on me. But uh, yeah, I stopped using it. But the formula is so, so creamy. I used to use a lot of Primark makeup and I, I can say they are of really good quality and the price is so affordable. They are vegan and cruelty-free lipstick and it's called Vintage Rose. And this is how it looks on me. Because the staying power is not that good. It'll just fade away if you eat something or drink something. It, it will not stay. So you have to touch it up. So I was going through a phase where I was collecting premium lipsticks like, like Dior, YSL, Chanel. I had a Chanel lipstick which I, I gave it to my mom because she really liked that color. It was, I think it, that color was made for her. I had to stop it because it was, it was burning a hole in my pocket. So and this is one of, uh, this is one of the lipstick which I purchased during that phase. This is by YSL and this packaging, oh my God, the packaging had me at that very moment. I can never pronounce this name. So I will not even try, but it is just, a beautiful shade again such a perfect summer shade it just gives that pop of color to your lips the formula is so creamy so buttery smooth it's like a balm 
It's a pigmented balm. So this is how the shade looks on me. It's like a burnt orange sort of shade. It's sheer, okay? It's not it's not like full coverage sort of lip. It's a sheer lip balm consistency. Absolutely love it on my lips. It it feels so hydrating, so nourishing on the lips. And it tastes like orange. Definitely not throwing this away because I mean, why is it? I'm I'm never throwing this away. Even if it goes bad, I will keep this. All right. Let's just talk about NYX. I mean, everybody has NYX. All nudes, actually. I don't know why. They have some brilliant, amazing shades. And I just have nudes with me. So this one is a soft matte lip, uh, lip creme. And it's in the shade Leon. And uh, this one is Butter Gloss. And it's in the shade Praline. Yep. <laughs> and there's another one. It's just called 565 why that's how the shade looks like beautiful beautiful <laughs> this formula is so brilliant i don't know what is it it's it's so beautiful it's so light on your lips i mean you don't even feel that you have anything on your lips it's so hydrating when you apply it it's super creamy and then it dries off to a matte more like a matte finish but uh, doesn't dry out your lips in any ways and i absolutely love this color it's my lips but better kind of shade i think i have to repurchase this because it's almost oh and i just add this butter gloss on top of this lipstick i love glosses the color on its own it's again that mauve mauve nude lip gloss it's a little bit stickier on the stickier side i'm not going to lie but uh, i like it it doesn't bother me that way and i love nyx as a brand because firstly it's pocket friendly it's super duper affordable that's one thing i like about it and also being on that price point the products are just supreme they are so beautiful i think it's one of my favorite uh, drugstore brands let's just try out some bright shades this lipstick is by catrice it's called plumping gel lipstick i bought this last spring and i had included this in my spring favorite sort of lipsticks i get attracted to bright lip shades but <laughs> i don't wear them that much so my favorite kind of lip shades are nudes for sure and then reds i really love them on people You see what I mean? It looks really, really nice, but yeah, I mean, I should, I should wear them. Do you like those bright poppy shades? Do you have them in your makeup kit? Let me know. Do you wear them on everyday basis or just occasionally? I, I need some inspiration. <laughs> Sun is going down. I should hurry up. This one is by Kiko Milano, and I was, as I was telling you guys, I have few berry shades, but I barely ever use them. It's so stunning. It's it's a it's that perfect winter shade I feel, and uh, I use this with a lip liner because it it tends to bleed on me. Imagine this lip shade with a black slip dress and you are going for a night out or a party, although no one is going anywhere. So Kiko is another favorite uh, drugstore brand of mine. They have some amazing lip shades. Also their eyeliners and their glitter eyeshadows are beautiful and so affordable so if you are on a budget definitely check out nyx and kiko let me know if you like this shade or not 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 with this t-shirt for sure not with this t-shirt this will stain i have so many other lipsticks left but i don't think i'll be able to complete <laughs> this haul because it's going to be a long long video and nobody has the time for that so i'm going to just uh, try one last lipstick which is my absolute favorite it's a cult favorite the one i was talking about this is ruby woo by mac love love this shade definitely done a crappy job <laughs> that's not how you apply a red lip it's that perfect blue tone red lip and 
no one can go wrong with this lip shade it's so beautiful and it suits all all skin tones out there and i love it the the full size version and i have a mini as well which i keep in one of my bags so this is going to be my last lipstick which i try there are a lot of other lipsticks which i'm tired i i cannot try them because my lips are dead right now they are burning so bad so maybe we can have um, a part two of this video that is all guys i hope this video was fun you guys are refreshed now i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye